Hello everyone, it is Swimplace here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. Today we're going to be talking about the sync commands and the sync dance commands. Um, now, uh, this is pretty cool because a lot of you guys have been wondering about this new syncs and how this works is there is click to sync, there is um, dance, you can just do it normally, and there is uh, commands and everything. So, um, you know, it's it's honestly just amazing, but um, welcome everybody, and I'm sorry I haven't been posting in a while, but uh, you know, this is also awesome, but it's pretty fire. You know, we got some people in here to test it out. I'm going to start testing things in here, so it's pretty sick. So, Katie, Jay, Joe, all these guys, welcome. Um, so, of course, we're going to be talking about the click and the commands. As you can see, we do this. If we do um, unsync with the command, it will do that, but then, you know, you can click them back again. So, if I do this one more time, it puts me back into it. So, it's pretty much amazing, um, but it's, it's awesome. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much, and let's get actually right into this, okay? I also forgot to say one thing. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and that post notifications. We are so close to 10,000, um, 9,000 actually, so we're, we're getting there, guys. We're really close. Um, we also just did a giveaway in Discord, and we hit 1,000 members, so that is amazing. We help out people there, so it's it's awesome. But uh, yeah, you guys, let's, let's go to Roblox Studio, and let's do it. Okay, well, hello everybody. We are in studio now. So if you are here in studio with me, then, well, we made it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the description and look for models, and it should say the click to sync commands, and they have a link right there. Click that link, and it'll bring you just right here, okay? Now, this will include all of the stuff inside of it, and you're just going to claim this, and it should say item owned. So this means you own it, and there you go. Now you have the model, and you're going to be able to put this into your name. Um, and that's probably the only way to do that, but you can also just look at the scripts and do whatever you want. But so what you're going to do is you're going to load up toolbox. This is in the home tab right here. And once it loads up, you just go to inventory, you know, refresh it and grab this and click it right here. When you click it, it's going to spawn in a folder. It's going to be called click the sync sync commands. And in here, we'll have a few of the things. We have a few, three models, one in replicated, one server and one in starter. So let's do that. So this will go on server script service. This is going to go on replicated storage. Um, right there and then this is gonna go in starter player scripts which is in starter player so right down there now if you don't have these some people don't have these like little services go to model or and yeah go to model then go to service and you can add them right here if you need them but uh, yeah that's so that's how much that work that's how that works so in here all you got to do is just ungroup all of this so you know we'll just do this we're gonna do control U or you can just click the ungroup by right clicking and we're gonna explain all this one by one because it is a little bit of complications but uh, I don't even really understand some of it I had some help but uh, I just kinda understand the basics of it um, now like we said guys we actually did a video on this a while ago but this is brand new and this is working and it's so much nicer uh, but yeah so we have in replicated storage a remote event here called sync now this remote event is what we'll be using to fire from the local side to the server side to say that we want to start syncing with a player. Um, this is a server script, and yes, it does have a module, so I'll talk about that later, because you guys are probably wondering, whoa, what is this? Is this fancy? Um, and then right here, we're the starter player script. So we're gonna start with the starter player scripts and then explain the replicated real quick, and then we're gonna go into the main detail. So this avatar context menu, this is a new thing that you can use, and it's actually been here maybe for a bit while, but people use this in their games because it's honestly, it's it's amazing. Um, and what it is, is it's uh, the menu that we popped up when we clicked on the person. So it's gonna pop up, it's have this little thing above the player but what we're doing is we gotta go to starters ui and we gotta enable it because it's not enabled in every game that's why you don't see it everywhere but we enable it and then we remove some of the avatar context menu options so like emotes um, but also guys you can do so much with this okay and I, i'll leave the link down in the description on the documentation and everything but you can customize it you can add a bunch of new buttons you do whatever you want and as you can see we already added one right here so what we're doing is we're creating a new event okay and we're getting a new function called sync and we're just having a local variable t but what we're doing is we're going to game.replicated storage and we're finding the sync and once we find the sync we're going to fire the server we're going to fire it and we're going to say t um but we're going to do the bindable event right here and so we're going to be dot event okay then we're going to connect it to this function and then we're going to do the sync so what's going to happen is down here this is where we're adding that new button so we're doing starter gui set core and then add avatar content context menu option or you know you could say delete uh, see how we had remove this is adding so we're adding and then we're doing the adding the sync current dance or you guys can change this name right here to anything um you know sync player or whatever and then we do be which is gonna fire that server up to the up to the rep up to up to the server side and then let us know that we want to have these guys dance so as you can tell like i say i'll repeat this one more time we're basically right here is this is the new button we're creating 
and then um, what's gonna happen is we're gonna fire the server when they click the button and when that happens it goes to the server side it's gonna fire this little thing right here and then it's gonna go to this script and then we're gonna do the thing so that's pretty much it for the avatar context I'm not gonna go too much in detail there's a lot of videos on that guys if you want to customize and do what you want with them like I'm not even kidding you can do anything so feel free to do that but in here is the main two scripts. Now it looks like a lot, don't worry, but where it's gonna be, we're gonna go through this quick. Now I did get help by Igor Robert. He's just one of my friends. Um, I'm gonna actually have him do a lot of scripts with us guys in the future. Um, but I mean, he didn't really help me, but he actually made this script a while ago and I kind of looked, took a look at it and started going off of it, but it's pretty cool. So we have a few things. We have services, locals, and then we have two functions. Um, we're grabbing the players because we need to grab all the players when it comes to uh, looking through the players of who we're going to achieve, like who we're going to sync with. Um, and then we have the player usage, which is just going to be like a player table. This is what we talk about down here. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but right here we have the chat player function, and this is the main thing for the sync command. Now what we're doing is when a player joins a game, so right here, oh, we're creating a new player, I mean a new variable called player. And then we're also going to do a quarantine function to just double check it all goes through. Now I'll actually uh, put that definition on the screen and you'll be able to see what that really means. Um, but we're doing that. Um, and then we're going to put inside of that quarantine uh, resume function, we're going to put that player chatted, okay? So now we have the player chatted and this is when we're creating a local message message variable. This is kind of like the last one. Now the difference between um, what we're doing in this script and the other one was that the old one you had to type in the name just like fully correct but this one you don't guys. You can type it like really tiny or like you know not the full name and it will it will do it for you. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I also added unsync again just to stop it. But what we're doing is if arcs, so we're creating a bunch of arguments right here and this is what I'm talking about where we're checking if it's a few things, okay? So local args, we're doing screen dot split. So this is the low. This is going to be the first message they send right here. So let's say this is slash sync, and then right here is the name, okay? So if args equals slash sync, so lower string equals sync, then we're going to grab, we're going to create a new function, which is going to be get player, okay? And we're going to create a new input uh, local variable, um, and we're going to do a for loop, and we're going to grab all the players in the game, and if that string of the get player equals the lower of the player dot name of one so of anything um then return player so that's we're gonna get that players that's the player um but if not our to then return n so we got to keep doing it but what we're doing is local player two equals get player and then right here that's the function so we're getting the player by doing that whole thing right right here sorry i don't know why it's saving we're doing this whole thing by getting the player of arcs2 which would be this little thing right here so it'd be slash sync and then the name and then that's when we're checking right here for any of the players in the game then if player2 and player2 is a player so we're checking if it's an actual player in the game then we're requiring the script on module sync and then we're syncing player and player2 and we'll talk about that in a second but um, that's what we're doing for this. So this is where we're leading that module sync in. So we don't have a lot of scripts in here. It's 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 really cool. Um, then we're doing we're gonna just double check is else if if player types in slash unsync, then this is where we're gonna just add the thing from our last script. So we're gonna grab their humanoid, grab their animator, because animator is the main thing you should use now. And then we're grabbing their animation tracks. So any of the animation tracks, and then we're doing a for loop, and then we're just stopping all the animation traps tracks. So we're just gonna stop all their animations. So that's pretty much it for this. But like I said, guys, we'll do this one more time. So we're checking if they did the sync. If they did, then we're gonna create this fun. We're gonna look at this function for getting all the players in the game, and then we're gonna check for that arcs too. So the player of the player name, and we're gonna do that little function right here. And if it is in player, if it is a player, then we're gonna sync them both using this module script. We'll check in a second. And then right here, we're gonna unsync the player um, from the other player. Just stop their animations by just doing this little. Uh, script right here um, and we'll go into the module in a second now this is the event function so game dot replicate storage sync on server event like I said we're sending from the local side to the server side on that event we're gonna do another local variable player and player two and we're gonna check if they're players if they are we're gonna do this now tick I don't understand this I, I just got it from e girl but um, I'm guessing it's a tick for checking just like so it's not delayed something like that um, now last use equals player usage. So this is when we're doing the player usage and we're going to double check that, uh, it's not, um, oh, it's not delayed. That's what it is. So yeah, this is what we're checking if it's not delayed. Okay. And so right here, of course, we just do it right away. Um, so if now is less than three or greater than three, if I'm right, then, um, player usage dot player equals now, but 
this is where we're just syncing them to. Okay, so we're just checking if they're a player on the event and then we're just gonna sync them. But this is just to keep it time-wise if I'm right. But that's pretty much it. Kind of simple. I know it looks like a lot. You guys are probably gonna be like, that's not simple. I think it, it, it really just kind of confuses people with the for loops and these little args and stuff, but it's just typing and everything. But um, let's go to the module script because you'll understand it. So when you load a new module script, guys, it always has this local module or return module part. And this is where we're just doing this in general. But this is where we're gonna be making the actual sync happen, okay? This is where we're just gonna make it happen. So what we're doing, okay, we're gonna call this a function module sync, okay? That's why we're doing right here. We're gonna do module sync and then sync because this is what it's called, it's called sync. We're gonna go player one and player two, and we're grabbing animator one, which is gonna be over the first player, animator two, which is gonna be over the second player. We're gonna create this for loop, okay? We get all of the animation tracks of player two, okay? And then we're gonna get their new their track that they have right now, and we're gonna load, and so so A1 equals load animation V dot animation. So we're gonna load it onto this first player by um, grabbing the second player animation. And then track dot priorities to action. I, the action and uh, priorities are, they're kind of weird. I don't know how to explain them because I actually don't really understand it too much, but it overwrites each action. So if the player's moving, then it might stop if they move. But like if they're not moving, I mean, if they are moving and it's like something, another priority action, then they won't stop playing it. It's kind of weird. Um, but then there's track play, and which plays the animation right away. And then we have track dot time position is set to their time position. And then where track adjust speed is set to their speed. And guys, um, as you can see, so what I'm trying to say with this V is that that's this, that's the A2, that's the second player's animation. And we're setting the first players right here, track is the first player at time position to their time position. So it matches and their speed, the first player speed to the second player speed. Now you guys probably want, why do we have the speed at the moment? That's because we want to make sure it's correct exactly. And I am making a new animation GUI. Don't worry, it's coming. It's just that's going to take longer than this for some reason because I got a bit more I want to add to it. You know, you guys want me to add like uh, sounds and uh, props and like all this kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do props. I might just do sounds and speed, but um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll figure out if I, I can do it. But um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, you guys. It's, it's kind of basic, kind of not, but I hope you understood this now just remember to just go delete that other sync command so it works properly um but that's it you guys like i said i hope you did enjoy this video we are so close to so close to 9k when we get to 9k i got a lot coming and we're gonna figure out what we want to do with that 10k i'm thinking a big live stream and stuff and i'm gonna get a little confetti popper and boink <laughs> but thank you guys a ton i will see you guys in the next video and it probably might just be the animation gui we also got a custom player player list coming so We'll see about that, but thank you guys a ton, and I'll see you in the next one.